Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the finale of Koi Monogatari. It has literally been like what almost two weeks? Yeah, two weeks since I've watched this show since I took a break last week, and I was like, I need a break just for just for one week. No Patreon shows, just chill, get my other shit done and stuff. But I'm ready to see what the freak Kaiki, you know, is gonna do in these last two episodes before we get into. The last arc of the season, and where everybody is gonna possibly die. <laughs> well, not everybody, just three of the main important characters of this damn show. <laughs> Which, yeah! <laughs> it's gonna be. If it happens, which honestly, if I could say it right now, I don't think really anyone's gonna die, but you can never fucking know. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode five in three, two, one, go. Good. It feels like it's been a month since I've watched the show. Yeah, because you and her make out like hot, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, but like, Guy is still around somewhere. He also forgot Q, but I think she has. Because we know Sanjata ain't better. Possibility. I mean, because we know that you and Commodore are going to be there too for support and help. I mean, because the biggest thing is like, we only really have one freaking episode left, so. Kaiki, in a way, needs to talk to Kamaru because he's the only one. She's the only one that he has to really talk to anyway. Yeah, in a way, she feels more alive as a god than being just a normal schoolgirl.
But he has a niece, though. Yeah. Oh. Then who the fuck is that girl? You gotta be fucking kidding me. So, you're telling me. Uh, but see, you know, he could have been lying about that. But see, I, I don't know. Like, I want to believe him, but then at the same time, I don't because he is a liar. He lies about a whole bunch of shit. So, come on now. You can't. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Until we see his niece again. Oh, my God. Dude, what the fuck? No, you, you come into the first six minutes of this episode and just say, oh, yeah, he has no brothers and sisters, no family, nothing. Oh, so he doesn't have any. Then who the freak is she? <laughs> I'm so happy I took that break because I can imagine if I recorded this last weekend. <laughs> The week up before Thanksgiving, I probably would have been looking at my. Like, I probably would have been on Twitter going off, asking so many questions. I felt like some people would have spoiled me on something, or I would have been like, "Don't tell me ish. I'm going to watch the next episode this weekend." What the fuck? You you gotta be lying! Oh my god. Mm -mm, I'm sorry. No, I don't believe that shit. I, I don't even believe most of the stuff that come out of his damn mouth. <laughs> I'm going to stick it closer to her. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think really anybody's there now. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, because didn't, like, uh, didn't it burn down in Hanekawa's story, in her second story? Yeah, I mean, you got one person. Mm, boy, man, Kaiki, what the fuck? First oh, of February. Ugh. 
Yeah, just that one night where you're not worrying about this shit anymore. And then the next day you worry about it again. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not only if, it's also when you decide to tell him. You need to kind of decide and tell him before the next art. I mean, because if you really, truly love him, like, we, myself, and a whole bunch of people who watch this damn series know you do, you gotta tell him! You can't hide this from him! Hmm. Yeah, true, but mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I really wouldn't celebrate that just yet, because you never know what could happen in these two episodes. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, that has to be a fucking lie. Purple my ass. I'm still hurting from fate, so, you know. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> I might cry again. Hmm. 
And you're on your own. I hope you don't want him to like kiss your feet or anything. Okay. You might also, do you really want to be remembered for that shit too? No, yeah, but she's not a fragile kid anymore. Hmm. 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 
Yeah, because usually when a mother breaks, sometimes 50 out of 50, the offspring could. Do not tell me you know. Okay. I was about to say, she know everything. You got to just go ahead and kill her. Because if she fucking knew everything. Yeah. You know, like, when it's your birthday and you blow out the candles and everyone's like, oh, what you wish for? Yeah. Yeah, sad day, right? Mm -hmm. So, too bad, baby. And they all died. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Oh, my child is so smart. <laughs> I love her. Even though she needs to die, she needs to just go. Just go. And that's a good one. I really thought she was going to believe that. I was like, whoa, are we in the clear? She This girl. Oh, my God. Shit. <laughs> Well, you know, mission failed. Go ahead and kill best, you know, one of my children now. It's okay. I don't need to cry anymore. You know, my has gone. I'm done. I ain't crying over that issue. If you kill her, I'm probably going to cry. It'd be fine. What? That did not just happen. No. Oh, my God. I, I mean, because, like, once he got to the shrine and she came out, I was like, oh, God, please don't let this child find out and already know. But then she was like, she's like, oh, like the way she was all like happy and everything. I was like, oh shit, that means she fucking knows about everything. And we don't know, I don't know what they're going to do, what he's going to do. And it's like, oh my God, are you serious? That ain't happened. No. Mm -mm. What the hell do you say after the fact is that she's like, oh, you try to deceive me. You'd be like, no. <laughs> but what if she kills him? Oh my god. I need her. I need her to just believe this lie. Please. Like, Kaiki, for the love of Christ, for you to survive this next episode, the last episode of Koi Managatari, before we get into Hana, please freaking survive. I swear to god, if he... 
if this episode, if this next episode ends for this arc, and he freaking dies before this last arc officially starts, when I started maybe even this weekend or, or um next week, I don't know yet. If he dies, bruh. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, like I said, I got a love-hate relationship with him more... More hatred than love, even though I know a lot of people in my comments have been like, oh yeah, he's like best character in the damn show! And I'm over here looking at y'all like, are y'all fucking kidding me? Like, I don't like him. <laughs> I've never liked him ever since he's gotten on this show. He is one of the most creepiest characters in this damn show. But he makes everybody else look normal, and that's the weird thing. Because, like, everybody is all creepy in their own special way. Like, they all have the uniqueness of creepiness. And sometimes you want to look at them like, okay, you a little fucked up. Like, you maybe need to go to, like, therapy or, like, a group session and say, I got a problem. Especially Agaragi and his, like, love for Lolly is an issue because... <laughs> I mean, yes, lollies are adorable, and we all love them too, but I mean, at the same time, because <laughs> I'm never going to forget when they went back in time, and we saw baby Hanagawa, and he freaked out, and I freaked out, because I was like, oh my god, she's so freaking cute, and he's over here like, oh my god, <laughs> stuff, and then having two freaking lollies kiss him, like, oh my god, what the hell, I mean, seriously, but yeah, he, like, out of all the characters between him and then Oshino's niece, they look the most normal of this series. But they are probably, well, one of the two. One of them is weird as hell, and then the other one we just don't know anything about because she's not really, she, anytime when she's here, she's not here a lot. And so I'm always wondering, okay, what the hell is Oshino's niece doing? And then you finally give me something about the niece. And it's possibly that that isn't his niece. So then if that's not the niece, who the freak is she? And why is she here? What the heck does she do as a job? Is she Does she work with Gaian, like, secretly or something? I mean, because, like, we barely know anything about her. She's been here ever since the beginning of this second... No, take that back. Not really essentially the beginning of this second season, but maybe, like, the halfway point, I would say, with, um... Uh, Neneko season with her second arc officially that's when she came in and then essentially when we got into like the second part about Mayoi and freaking um Shinobu and the fact that the darkness was after Shinobu but then Leanna was after Mayoi she was there when Agaragi was explaining everything to her and she was sitting there like oh hey I gotta go to my job bitch what the f is your job that's all I want to know I've been wondering that ever since like several freaking weeks ago and still nobody would tell me because I think it's a big behind spoiler I just want to know I, I mean like god dang and then just my child my freaking snake god child why why oh my god <laughs> she's gonna do something to Kaiki in episode 6 and I don't want to watch the next episode because she might kill him I really, I mean, I'm like, yeah, Sito, go ahead and kill him, but then it's like, the other half of me is like, no, don't kill him, because he's very useful, and he needs to talk to Sajato one last time, do the last reports and everything, even though they just talked in this episode and ish, but, I mean, she now, like, Sajato needs to be a teenager, even though, yeah, it's a possibility that they're gonna die in this next arc, but still, like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god. It, it, it did happen. That did not happen, okay? It didn't happen. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna watch the next episode, and even though, yeah, that happened, that did not happen. And <laughs> just like, what the fuck? I can't. Oh my god, Kaiki. Kaiki, you a dead man. <laughs> he is a dead man. He is, I swear to god, like, episode six is gonna open up, and then there's gonna be his body, blood, everywhere, and dead. It's just gonna Yay! I don't know! Okay, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the last episode. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. I don't like this smile. Exactly. You a dead man. That too! Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, hey, if she kill you, <laughs> mm. 
Oh, Right? But also terrifying. I mean, that girl, you know, I feel bad for you, dude. I really, oh my God, I don't know. Oh my God. Fuck. Did I tell them the next episode? Did I tell them the comments? I don't think I did. I might have to do it after the rising. Because I think Hana is the longest. The phone's over there, so I can't tell. Um, the longest art for this last, for the second season. I don't know. We ain't gonna know until tomorrow, probably. Whenever I have time to watch it. I look so gross. Uh. That's what I was about to ask. Yeah, so cute.
I just felt like something that's crawling on my ass or sick of these fucking snakes. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't like snakes. Mm -mm. Like, if you gave me money to pet a damn snake, I'd... Ugh. Possibly. <clears throat> yeah. He doesn't even know anything or what. Oh, God. Well, you know, uh, Mayuri's gone, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, this girl, like, yep, let's just take everybody now. You can't do this, though. Was it in your closet? I I'm guessing so. Well... That's true. Mm -hmm. So how much you want to do? Kill your parents? Mm -hmm. Mm Yeah. 
Because, you know, you can stop this. You don't have to continue this. You can just be a normal girl again. But you, oh my god, girl. And you seem like you were very passionate about it. <clears throat> so just, you know, care about being a guy. You don't have to kill Akaragi and friends and family. Yeah. Let him go and turn back to normal. Yeah. Because money makes the world around. To her, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he figures you would get another kick to the face. Then try to explain it to him so he, that he can understand, babe. Yeah. 
I thought she was going to slap me. Around. Was there a manga like that? Damn, I mean, she fucked you up good, dude. I mean... I gotta be at all the goddamn times I wanted you to appear. I wanted you to come in the next damn arc. Is he getting the paper out? Hmm. That's a paper. Okay. Are you going to give it back to him? Well, you get to deal with her. What the fuck? Yeah, and you weren't even supposed to see him! <sighs> So then they're not gonna die. Okay, that's fine. Yay, I'm happy. But see, something about this don't feel right to me. So you don't need to be around her completely. You need to distance yourself to her from her. Probably. We all know unless it happened. Yeah. 
But he's still gonna be around her though. Probably. I don't know. Shit. Yeah, so now he goes back home. That's it. <laughs> we probably never gonna see him again, are we? I mean, he gonna be like Ocean, oh, like he ain't gonna come back ever. And then I don't know. <laughs> He may come back in, like, the last season, but I don't think so. I think this is the last time we're really going to see him. I get that why he's in there, because he doesn't want to be contacted. He just wants to be on his own. Apparently so, because we haven't seen him. Exactly. So then that kid needs to die, not you! Holy fuck, he, that's a lot of blood. The ocean on these. Yeah. Well, he dead now. I mean, he ain't coming back. There's no way how he come back. Like, if he comes back, what the fuck? I mean. If somebody just so happens to walk along and see him and take him to a hospital, then yeah. But the way that just ended, I think he's dead and he's not coming back. But then, okay. I don't know. Hold up. Hold, that ending. This ending. Like, oh my god. He was almost out. No one came up to him. I mean, because like, no matter what, he even told Sajahad at the beginning of this arc, like, hey... You know, there's a lot of people in this town who might hate me, <laughs> who might want to kill me. And the whole time in the back of my mind, I think after he said that, I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, no, that's probably never going to happen, right? Like, 
he's going to end up being fine. He's going to get out. No one's going to try to kill him, do whatever and stuff, get the job done. Senjo Hada is eventually going to tell him to get the fuck out of town. He's going to get the fuck out of town and he's going to be able to continue his life the way it was essentially when this arc for him started. But no, some kid who was a middle schooler who possibly sent the curse on him, which, uh, uh, I mean, not on um, him, on, um, what's your face? But I don't, like, from what he said, I don't think it is her, him. But then, uh, what, uh, but I don't know what <laughs> I mean, everything was going so well for him and so right for him. I'm thinking, okay, he's going to be good. Not to like, okay, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and knock him the fuck out. He's losing a lot of blood. He might be dead. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Like, no, no. Uh uh. I, and, uh -uh. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. A thousand times, no. No. As much as I, like, hate him, and even though I was starting to like him, I did not want that to happen to him. I just wanted him to get out safely and to just have a normal freaking life. But then I heard that, and I'm like, oh, fuck, my God. It was worse than I, when Agaraki came in. I'm like, oh, my God, like, why are you here? I didn't want you to be here. Out of all the times that I wanted you to finally, like, see her i didn't want it to be at the last couple of minutes in this episode finishing off this art going into hana managatari what the fuck are, okay so now my biggest question is going into hana since the situation for sengoku is now officially kind of done but i don't really think it is because something about that and the way it ended it just feels like oh, okay this is a little too easy this was too simple like there's got to be something else Something else is going to happen. You can't tell me from showing me that trailer of Senjo Hara, Agaragi, uh, Kamburu, and Hanekawa all there against Sengoku, getting ready to, like, go out, fight for the death. You know, she might get killed. Everybody on the, on the other side possibly might get killed. Who freaking knows? And then we get to this, and it looks like it's not going to happen. Something about that speaks bullshit. I smell bullshit on this. Like, I I, I don't want to say it. I'm not saying it to be mean, because I know somebody's going to be like, no, 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 and someone's going to say something out of their ass, and it's just probably going to piss me off. It's just like, it, it just felt too fucking simple. Something about this does not seem right to me, and then I'm going to get into Hana, and then we're going to get to, like, the same POV around the time when this happened, or in the beginning of January, and then eventually, like, fast forwarding through February, up until the point where it's like, okay, hey, Here's everybody graduating. Here's the point where we think they're going to die and no one's going to die. We're just going to skip all that and we're going to go on to whatever. I don't really freaking know. But, dude, mm -mm. I just, uh, oh, God, I didn't want him to come out of all the times. You had five episodes, five freaking, six and a half, really, um, where Agaragi was not in it. And I'm thinking, okay, we're good. He's not going to show up until this next arc because it's probably going to be in his POV. And then he finally fucking comes. <sighs> Why did it have to be that day? Out of all the freaking days for him to finally co to come back and to try to, like, you know, talk her out of it again, it had to be that day. I can't. What the hell is going to happen now? Like, I, I really don't know. I'm not going to know until, like, Thursday, Friday, whenever I watch freaking Hanuman Agatari. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the <laughs> Koi Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys special next Friday for the Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for the first two episodes of Hanuman Agatari to see what in the world is gonna happen. I swear to, like, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, God. I just, I really want to see these characters duke it out. I, I just, it, it's something that I've wanted ever since that trailer came, and I swear, if this next arc does not go the way that I think it's gonna go, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll be pissed. I'll be pissed for a hot minute. Like, Ooh, I, knowing myself, I will be hella pissed, but then eventually I'll get over it. But still, it, it might take me a little while to, like, 
forgive it. But we ain't gonna know. I'm not gonna know until Thursday or Friday. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.